this episode I'm going to talk about the Thrustmaster Walter PPK. It was made for the Sony PlayStation 1 and 2. The PPK supports both gun con modes and the normal gun mode. Other vendors such as Heiss, Flame, Dragon Plus, Madrix, Saber, Brooklyn, Yobo and Venom also sold the gun. The gun is known by other names such as High Clear Light Gun, Blitz Light Gun, M9, M22, Headhunter Gun, PS2 Strike Gun, Gunman and Shadow. Some of the guns were sold with a built-in laser. These are easily distinguishable from the rest by the pattern on the box below the A button. Furthermore, an Xbox version of this controller exists. Obviously, the design of the gun is based on the Walter PPK. Interestingly, Just Trust Master went through the struggle to officially license the design from Walter and the holder of the exclusive rights, Le Trois Pilon. This is even more noticeable as all other PPK based light guns, such as the Scorpion, which I reviewed in episode 115, and its successors weren't properly licensed. I like the button layout of the gun a lot. The A and B buttons are spread to each side of the gun at the top of the sometimes fake laser unit. The C button is at the handle of the gun. At my particular unit, C wasn't always sensed properly and had to be pressed rather hard in order to work reliably. On the left side of the gun are the start and select buttons and selector switches for the gun mode and the fire mode. Normal, auto reload and auto reload plus auto fire are the available choices. The reload interval is 6 shots. Where the hammer would be located is a nice circular D-pad. At the heel of the magazine is a TS socket which allows connecting a reload paddle which is mapped to the C button. Next to it is an on off switch for the force feedback mechanism. This force feedback is fast but very weak. Furthermore it is just available during the two PlayStation 1 modes. The side picture is nice and clear. The trigger is almost non-tactile and just actuates very far back. Furthermore, it has to be pressed relatively hard in order to yield shots reliably. In my opinion, it is the PPK's biggest drawback. Overall, the gun feels dirty and it is of a good build quality. In Gun Con 2 mode, accuracy and precision of the PPK are very good. The position of the D-pad is very well suited for Time Crisis 2 like games. In gun con mode, accuracy and precision are again very good. Here I was annoyed that just the A and B buttons are supported. The button at the handle and the reload paddle don't work in this mode. In normal gun mode, accuracy and precision are just good. Here it is noteworthy that the B was mapped to the start button. In my opinion, the PPK is a small, nice, pretty controller. I recommend it to pocket pistol enthusiasts who need a light gun for the PlayStation 2, as it is way better than the Scorpion 3. I would suggest replacing the trigger though and fixing the C button issue. While being in there, I would remap the paddle to the A button. When just considering stock non modified guns, I would choose the Logic 3 P7K over the PPK for PlayStation 1 games. Trustmaster sold the PPK in at least two styles of boxes. One resembles the boxes of a lot of cheap generic no-name light guns. The other kind pays an homage to James Bond, showing a hand of a person wearing a suit holding the gun, female models and a crosshair. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.